you are all in search of a secret love and you are all trying to find it in somebody hence the frustration all lovers except those who are never allowed to meet <laughs> only those who are never allowed to meet are remembered for centuries for their great love in the east we know siri and faryad lela and majnu because they were never allowed to meet by their parents and society they have become symbolic of great lovers but it is strange they were never allowed even to meet with each other and they have become the symbols of great love and what happened to millions of lovers who have been allowed <laughs> not a single one of them has proved a great lover all are simply lousy <laughs> and every love affair is a failure without exception you may accept it you may not one tries to hide the fact as long as possible <laughs> but everybody knows that what everybody is doing <laughs> the reason is that your frustration is bound to happen your real love is for the eternal self hidden behind the curtain and you never look behind the curtain you are just playing on the stage and be fully everybody's great love is to know the secret of the eternal and immortal life because you cannot find it in another person when you meet on the sea beach it seems that to everyone it is the same story that this woman or this man is made for me <laughs> and nobody is made for anybody everybody is made for himself you are not some kind of manufactured parts <laughs> that you are made to fit with each other <laughs> so when you don't fit <laughs> then the tragedy begins <laughs> before that all is goody goody <laughs> the real test is after honeymoon <laughs> 
after honeymoon, the lovers are finished. They don't look at each other eye to eye. The husband goes on reading the same newspaper <laughs> to avoid the wife. A man in the pub was talking to his friend that why you remain always silent? You don't say anything. He said, the whole credit goes to my wife. She says, and I listen. She does not like any interruption. So after years of listening and without interrupting, it has become a habit. Wherever I am, even though my wife is not there, I sit silently. The failure of love in the world shows a significant fact that perhaps our love is searching for something else. And because we don't find it in our so-called lovers, the frustration arises. Nobody is responsible, just our direction is wrong. The real lover is within you. The eternal lover is within you. Once you have found it, you are absolutely content with yourself. There is no need for anyone because you are no more incomplete. Only a Buddha is fulfilled. 